Atlantis and El Dorado's existence have been debated for centuries, but thanks to science, we've confirmed the discovery of 10 real-life, unexplored lost worlds. Number 10. Movila Cave In 1986, a cave was discovered near Mangalia, Constanta County, Romania. It is completely void of light and contains toxic gases that the specialized animals within the cave require to live. Less than 100 people have been allowed in the cave, and to get to the entrance you have to be lowered 65 feet into the ground through a narrow passage. Microbiologist Rich Bowden was one of the first to enter the cave and one of the few to see the lake below. The pool of warm sulfuric waters don't need sight or camouflage. As for humans, if you go in without a special mask, it wouldn't be long before the lack of oxygen and toxic gases took their toll. It would begin with labored breathing and a headache, followed by kidney damage, and the rest, well, no one has ever gotten that far. Number 9. Lake Vostok out of over 400 lakes in Antarctica, only one can be the largest, and the title goes to Lake Vostok. The lake is at the southern pole of cold beneath Russia's Vostok Station. It resides far beneath the surface of the central East Antarctic ice sheet, which is 11,000 feet above sea level. This freshwater lake surface is about 13,000 feet under the surface of the ice, meaning that it would be less than 2,000 feet below sea level. The lake has supposedly been untouched for at least 400,000 years, and it wasn't until 2012 that scientists completed the longest ever ice core that reached 12,400 feet and finally pierced through to the surface of the lake. However, as soon as this happened, water from the lake gushed up the borehole used to extract the water and mixed with freon and kerosene that was used to keep the hole from freezing. In 2015, teams tried again and were successful in retrieving a pure sample. Still, humans have only touched the surface of this lost world and it is believed that new, unseen creatures could dwell in Lake Vostok. The question is, will humans ever reach them? Number 8. Son Dung Cave The Son Dung Cave, or known in Vietnam as Hang Son Dung, I think that's right, uh, the pronunciation of some of these things is a little bit tricky. So anyway, this is a solutional cave in Phong Nha Khe Bang National Park, Vietnam. Son Dung Cave is often called the largest cave in the world. It was discovered by a local man named Ho Khan in 1991. People from the area knew about the cave, but the steep descent at the entrance, as well as the loud sound of the wind and water rushing through the cave, prevented locals from entering. Of course, everyone thought it was spooky. It wasn't until 2009 that the cave was shared with the world when the British Cave Research Association conducted a survey nearby. Unfortunately, their progress was stopped when they ran into a 200-foot calcite wall known as the Great Wall of Vietnam. In 2013, some of the largest cave pearls known to man were discovered, some reaching the size of a baseball, given out on a limited basis. Only about 800 are available in 2017, and only through August. During the fall and winter months, the water levels are so high that the cave is inaccessible. Number 7. Sima Humboldt and Sima Martel Cerro Sarisarinyama is a tepui or a flat top mountain. The mountain is derived from the tale of the Yakuana Indians who live near the mountain. They tell a tale about an evil spirit living in caves up in the mountain and devouring human flesh with a sound. There are sinkholes known as Sima Humboldt and Sima Martel. It was first descended in 1974 and as of today is exclusive for scientific researchers. Number 6. Challenger Deep Mariana Trench Challenger Deep is the deepest known point in the Earth's seabed hydrosphere, which reaches depths of over 35,000 feet. It can be found off the coast of Guam. Due to its extreme depths, only four attempts have ever been made to explore the trench. Although all descents reported the same depths, the maximum depth is still uncertain. The latest descent was taken by director James Cameron in 2012. He wished to explore the area for an extended period of time, but due to a malfunction with his sub, he had to give up. A similar incident happened with another explorer who never reached the bottom of the trench. It seems the life here wants to be left alone. Although nothing particularly unique to the Challenger Deep has been discovered yet, it remains a challenge to our technological and scientific capabilities. Number 5. East Scotia Ridge Just what is so special about this section of the Scotia Plate in the South Atlantic? 
Off the coast of South America, there is a tectonic plate where strange life exists at 8,000 feet below sea level. Studies show that due to the hydrothermal vents that run through the area, temperatures can reach up to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. What's odd is that not so far away is Antarctica, which is known for its frigid temperatures. In 2010, a new type of Yeti crab, a mysteriously furry crustacean, was discovered in this area. Along with the crab, an adorable ghost pale octopus was recently found, as well as several unknown anemones and barnacles. Cindy Van Dover, director of Duke University's Marine Laboratory, says it's remarkable that we can be in the 21st century and still not know fundamental things about what lives on our planet. This is really exciting because it keeps open the door for even more discovery down the road. It's truly amazing how much there still is to be discovered. Number 4. Mount Roraima if you've ever seen James Cameron's record-breaking film Avatar and were mesmerized by the floating Hallelujah Mountains of Pandora, you are sure to feel just as amazed by Mount Roraima. Also known as Tepui Roraima and Cerro Roraima, this peak is the highest of the Pacarema chain of Tepui plateaus in South America. Its highest point reaches 9,219 feet. Natives of the Gran Sabana, a region in southeastern Venezuela, see Mount Roraima as the stump of a mighty tree that once held all the fruits and tuberous vegetables in the world. Mount Roraima is said to have been knocked down by Makunaima, the trickster. The tree crashed to the ground, unleashing a tremendous flood that led to life. The plateaus are so steep on each side that even the most skilled of rock climbers would struggle to reach the top. Today, tourists are allowed to go to the mountain via a recently installed route, but this will simply give you a taste of the full experience. The most awe-striking feature of this mountain is the vision at the top. Mount Roraima appears to be floating in the clouds in the most mystical way. Number 3. Melville Range Cape Melville is a headland on the eastern coast of the Cape York Peninsula in Australia. This range is often called a lost world due to the exclusive creatures that live there and have managed to survive for so long on their own. A field of granite boulders that has naturally prevented fires from affecting the area as well as allowing the area to retain moisture. Only a select few have stepped foot on the Melville Range, the misty rainforest atop Cape Melville. These include the foxtail palm, the Cape Melville leaf-tailed gecko, the Cape Melville shade skink, and the blotched boulder frog. Number 2. Palawan Highlands Palawan is often considered to be one of the most mysterious areas in the world. Palawan is a province of the Philippines that is known to hold many mysteries. In 2007, botanists journeyed to an isolated corner of the island of Palawan and made new endemic discoveries – pink ferns, blue mushrooms, and a carnivorous pitcher plant big enough to devour large rodents or even small monkeys. Over the last few years, scientists have found out that flora and fauna once thought to be extinct actually had hidden away for countless years in the corners of Palawan. Purple crabs that look like they crawled out of a storybook, Palawan bearded pigs who are scruffier than any human could be, and the Palawan water monitor, a lizard which can reach up to 7 feet long. The Palawan Highlands are just proof that after thousands of years of exploring, we really have just skimmed the surface of what our Earth holds. Number 1. The Bosavi Crater Mount Bosavi is a mountain in Papua New Guinea. Formerly, the Bosavi Crater was a volcano on the Great Papuan Plateau. But long ago, the volcano collapsed, leaving the Bosavi Crater, now a rainforest full of life in its place. You wouldn't think such a creation would be home to any endemic species, but it looks like this crater contains over 40 unique animals. It wasn't until 2009 that researchers were able to reach the crater. Even then, it was necessary that indigenous groups of people who live nearby guide the researchers on their journey. The natives stated that no one trekked that far, it was too inaccessible and far too dangerous. Due to the weather conditions, scientists would often be forced to camp in the crater for extended periods of time when their helicopter couldn't gain entry. You are hot, sweaty, and stinking pretty much all the time, said one camper. It's challenging, but we all realized we were so lucky to be in a place before the impact of humans became obvious. Thanks for watching! We've only just touched the surface of lost, unexplored worlds with this video. Be sure to subscribe and see you soon! Bye!